Hey there, Squarespacer. Becca here from Inside the Square. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a slideshow cover page in your Squarespace website. This is a choose your own adventure tutorial because we have three different techniques that we're going to cover. The first will show you how to create an autoplay slideshow, a slideshow that will automatically scroll through your images. The second technique will show that autoplay with content on top of it. In this particular tutorial, we'll have text and a button that's displayed on top of the images that are automatically rotating. And then the third option will show you how to have multiple images with different content on top of it, text and a button. Now I've included timestamps underneath this video just in case you want to jump ahead. But without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and we've got some choose your own adventure options. We can set a slideshow that is images only and have an auto scroll that's very easy to set up. I'll also be showing you how to create one that has images sliding behind static text and another one that shows different images and different text using three different techniques in Squarespace. Let's hop into edit mode and get started. And underneath this video, you'll also find timestamps for all three of these just in case you want to jump ahead. Now, if all you want to do is show images on an auto scroll, select add section, scroll down to the images option, and here you'll find a gallery section. Click on any of these that have this little icon, genuinely doesn't matter which one you start with. After you've added your gallery section, select the edit section option. And here I want you to change the type. You can choose slideshow full. Make sure it's set to full bleed so it extends from the left of the page all the way to the right. Then I want you to set the height to large. This is going to make it take up full screen on the page. Now you can choose to leave the arrows on. Let me scoot this over so I can highlight these on the screen here. These two arrows are what people can use to navigate the content. You can also have bullets at the bottom of the page here. I'll zoom in real quick to show you. These can be used to navigate through images as well, or you can select hidden and neither one of those options will be there. Now this part is very important. Toggle on autoplay. Autoplay will automatically transition between different slides, as you can see here. It'll take five seconds for the slide duration, and the animation is set to site default, but you can choose it to be faded, vertical panels. You've got all kinds of animation options, so definitely play around with those if you'd like to. No animation will just be an instant transfer between slides. Now to change the content on the slideshow, select Edit Gallery, and here you can add images. You can rearrange those images by dragging and dropping them in any order, and click this plus sign to search for images that are already uploaded to your site or upload them here directly into the editor. You can also have any of these images linked to something specific. Now, if you want every single image in your slideshow to link to a different page on your site, make sure you add the link to every single image, okay? Now, we're not quite done. I'm gonna select Save, and scrolling up here, I'm going to remove these extra two page sections that we had on this page. There we go. And now I'll show you if we select save and exit, we've got one more change to make here inside our pages menu. I want you to click on the gear icon next to your cover page. This opens up your page settings and under the navigation option, toggle off header and footer. This is how you can create a cover page that doesn't have the navigation on your site. Personally, I choose to leave the footer on all of my landing pages and cover pages because that's where important legal information is. This is not legal advice, but you can toggle those on or off. And after you select save, the page will reload and you can see here we have a full page slideshow on my Squarespace website. But the slideshow we went with is just images. Let's assume you want to add something more. I'm going to hop back into edit mode and we're going to keep editing, my friend. For a slideshow with static text on the top that is text that doesn't change, let's scroll down and add another section. I'm going to select Add Section, and how about we choose a section that has text and a button, like this right here. Let's click this section. Now that we've added this to our site, select Edit Section and make sure the height for this section is also set to large. I'm going to turn off the divider because we don't need it for this style, but again, height set to large is so important. Make sure you've selected that. Now we can select save and exit, and we're going to go back into the settings for this particular page. I'm going to click this gear icon right here and select advanced. This is where we're going to add some custom code to make sure that that text is on top of the image. You'll find this entire code ready to copy and paste underneath this video. And again, we want to add this to the advanced page settings. What this code tells a computer browser is that on a page, when there's a page section, specifically the second one, pull it up to the top of the page. Then after that, we said if there's a second page section and it has a background, 
or a border, make sure that color is transparent. Now we can select Save, the page will reload, and we have our text on top of our auto-scrolling images. Isn't that awesome? Super easy to customize. Now I will say when we hop into edit mode and we want to start making some changes here, it's very easy to edit the content on top of the images. As you can see here, I'm scrolling around. Maybe I want to give this a background color or a border. We've got all of our standard content options here, but the background image, that's customized by something that we hid with our code. So we need to select exit hop into our advanced page settings here and remove this code temporarily if you want to change your images. I know it's an annoying workaround, but it's the best way to do it. And again, you'll find this code underneath this video. But before we call this tutorial a wrap, I've got one more trick to share with you. I'm gonna remove all this code. We'll select save. We'll hop into edit mode. Let's remove these sections that are here because we don't need them anymore. And taking a look at our original list, which I have as a saved section here, the very last option is setting images behind different text. We're going to create this effect with a banner list section. Select the add section option and choose the people category. Again, we're looking for this little indicator here. This icon says it's an auto layout. Doesn't matter which one you pick. Let's go with this one. This will be placed on our site. And now we can select edit content. And under the design option, I want you to choose banner slideshow. Now, these are pictures of people, so they look really big and they're taking up a lot of space here, but you get the idea. Now, these don't auto scroll, but we do have arrows to click through. And as you can see, the text on top of the image and the buttons are completely different for each one. Now, if you select edit content and hop back into our design tab, I want to make sure we get the size right. Hop into size and space and where it says minimum slide height, select large. Again, that's going to take us to that full screen, just like we did with the gallery section and and the standard section, make sure you select large. Now that we've selected that, we can save. Let's go up and remove this extra section, select remove, select save. And here you can see we've got scrolling images with text on top. And that's the only thing that's taking up this entire page other than the footer. And again, if you want to turn the footer off, hop into your page settings by clicking on this gear icon right here. And under navigation, you can toggle off the header and the footer if you don't want those on your website, super customizable. So let's recap, shall we? I'm gonna hop into edit mode. We're gonna start from scratch. If all you want is a slideshow with images on autoplay, select the images option, choose any one of these sections with this icon right here, and underneath the settings for this section, what I want you to do is choose slideshow full and set the height to large. Again, adjust the controls however you see fit. And then to change the images here, select edit gallery, drag and drop them to rearrange them, delete them, and click this plus sign if you'd like to add your own images. If you want these to link to anything, make sure you add the link to every single image that's showing up in your slideshow. Now, if you want content on top of that autoplay, add a section underneath it. We're gonna grab one of these intro sections that has content on it already. Perfect. We're gonna select edit section. We'll make sure it's a large screen height. I'll turn off the divider because I don't like it. We'll select save and exit. And underneath the settings for this particular page, click this gear icon right here for your page, select advanced, and paste this code right here that you'll find underneath the video. Once we've selected save, the page will refresh and we'll see our content on top of those auto scrolling images. To change the images, hop back into the advanced mode and temporarily remove your code so you can adjust your gallery. And last but not least, let's have a slideshow where the text changes with the image. We'll remove this code right here and select save. We're gonna hop into edit mode. We'll remove these two sections here. We don't need that one. We don't need that one. We'll select add section and underneath the people category, grab any of these sections with this icon, click on the edit content option and under the design tab, choose the banner slideshow. This gives you the ability to change the text that's on top of each image. Make sure you scroll down to size and space and you set the minimum slide height to be large. I'm gonna go back here to the main elements option and toggle off the title so we can see this stretching to the full height of the page. Perfect. Now, if you want more information about how to edit the content inside this section, check out the tutorials linked below. But if you wanna make sure that your images have different text on top of them when people scroll through, this is the page section type that will make that magic happen. 
And there you have it, my friend, three different techniques for creating that slideshow cover page on your Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Check out the other content linked below and be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.